Hello guys and welcome back. This is the third video tutorial of the series. In this video we'll start the coding phase. So let's begin. Uh, okay, so to your right, um, the right of your screen, you might want to check out something called the uh, events. So everything on your uh, design, uh, design form has an event associated with it. So when you click on the form and uh, on, click on the events and it show you all the uh, possible events that you can use. So the one we're, we're interested in is the load. So when you first start application, it's going to load up this uh, Windows application form. So just click, double click on that and it will start that form. So you can now start writing code. Uh, decide you can start. Uh, you can decide what can happen when the the Windows form starts. So, okay. So b before that, we need to uh, take care of a few things first. Unlike the uh, uh, Visual Studio C Sharp, uh, this uh, in, in Visual Basic when you add the serial port, it doesn't add the uh, header for you, like the imports. So now you have to actually type your own imports. So you have to uh, type system import uh, system threading. We're going to do some threading later on. Okay, import system IO ports import system component component model okay so those are the four imports you need okay and even before the uh, the form loading thing we need to create a, uh, a variable an array so we can store in the uh, port names let's do uh, declare an array Let's call it my port as array delegate, and then the next thing, <laughs> next thing we need to do. This is for the uh, receiver side, uh, for the threading part. We need to use a delegate since uh, uh, we need to invoke uh, uh, an event handler later on for the receiver side. So delegate, create delegate sub we call it set text callback and by if you want to learn more uh, there's a uh, website online that explain a little bit more in detail of uh, what are delegates and how to use it I'm just learning too so but that's not the the important point right now. Uh, you want my uh, this this is just an example so you can get started. So this delegate uh, purpose is just to add to is added so that it can prevent threading errors during the receiving uh, of the data. Okay. So we have added the delegate. Now we can move on to the uh, the first thing uh, the the this inside the form load okay so let's write the routine for this so my port goes to IO ports serial port we're going to check for the available ports serial ports get port names if you notice, this is very similar to C Sharp. So as you transition from C Sharp to Visual Basic, it's not that much difference. And then it's not the. Uh, let's see. Now we need to, once we get the names, we want to fill it up and do this combo box that we uh, name it early. What's the? It's called Port Combo Box. So just remember the name, port combo box, items, add range, my port. 
Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay. Okay, now we need to, uh, next thing we need to do is add a f uh, safety feature. Okay. We need to, uh, let's see, uh, we can turn this thing off for now. We don't want uh, people to hit the click on the right w before uh, yeah, click on the knit button. So let's check out the name of this right button so we can turn that uh, and disable that button if you will so right right button enable equals false and yes uh, this is not really uh, necessary if you just want to get started but uh, we're just going to do it for now. So uh, let's let's uh, test this. Uh, we can test it already. Let's hit click on debug and check out the available port. Yes. Notice how we cannot click on this right because we just disable that. We can uh, click on the init and close, but not this one. So let me st uh, um, end this video for now. It's getting a little long. And we'll continue on uh, the coding phase in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.